up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and reach. And now for the particulars, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb D. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Tacoma, Washington, USA, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Slips the punch nicely there. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Big kick lands. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Ooh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. Oh, 
very tricky when he throws that body kick. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Leg kick. Oh, big elbow. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, solid leg work here. That'll leave a mark. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Here to the body. Oh! Watch over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, good kicks. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. with the left punch there. That's a big strike right there. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Landing a punch with the left hand now, so certainly putting it all together on the feet tonight. He's doing a lot of work with his offhand. What a punch. All right, here, final seconds of round one. Head kick lands. Horn sound for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh! Massive kick to the head. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a very bad head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Circling to his right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good punch, Lance. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. Check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. to the body now, that one won't land. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. And he caught the kick. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Big punch land. Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Just unable to quite find that range. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Timely defense there, huge block for him. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Ten seconds to go. Ooh, big shot land. Look at the angle of that nice body. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are gonna be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're gonna see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. He was all over you, but you're better than that. Come on now, let's shake it out. Let's get back in there, let's get back to the game plan. Hands high, work behind. 
All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Let's go, push forward and use that low Ooh, what a punch. Keep your hands up for me. Just misses there with the left. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one coming. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to working the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Hands up, hands up. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. And he landed the right hand there. Nice straight punch. Just over three minutes to go in round three. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, nice, nice. Beautiful strike. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see. Oh! Serve him up. Go get him. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. 20 seconds left. <laughs> nice punch lands over the top. Ten 
It's big leg kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes, and a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Oh, man, head to land. Get some offense. Let's get going. Go. Yeah. Come on, push through it. Keep your hands up. Nice loop is fun. Big body kick. Back to his feet. Oh, huge block! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Circling to his right. Nice. They continue to exchange. Nice, sneaky head kick. Blocks that strike. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Hand, not there. And that one was heavy. Oh! Good stick. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, a huge block there. Done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Able to check the high kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice body kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, 
John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Man, these guys are flowing back and forth. Oh, big left hook there. And they separate. Blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance. He took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Ready to fight? Ready. Fifth and final round. Oh, nice right hand. Kick lands for him there. Huge block there. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. What a technique. He does everything so well. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice defense there. Huge block. It's messed up really bad. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. And now he's got that tight clinch. Big head kick. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh! Oh, big left. Nice leg kick land. Strong defense there to block the shot. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job. Oh. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest at one minute, 55 seconds of round number five. Joining the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. There will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for